Oh gosh, I don't know. Honestly, I'm sorry. I don't. I can't answer that. We have an exec, one of our executive producers in the back here. Maybe she can answer that. Marlene. Yeah. Do you know if the uh, the score has um, has won any awards in the festival? Okay. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. That's wonderful. Wow, wonderful. That's great. There's your Haiti connection. Yeah, there's the connection right there. Well, cool. All right, thank you. Oh, a couple more. What was the most challenging part in playing the role for you? Well, I never grew up with any sort of domestic violence or alcoholism. I mean, I didn't even know anybody in my extended family that had suffered from the illness or heard of any type of abuse in our in our family so that was the that was the trickiest part like I say when John called me and asked me um, if I was interested in the film I I said yeah I'd, I'd, I'd like to play Jack and um, and he said oh okay yeah because I, I was I was thinking that you know I might be interested in playing Rip and I said no no I, I just I don't really see myself as that character and and I couldn't sleep at night. I, I was just terrified by this character of Rip, and I, and I thought, you know, I have to, I have to um, you know, challenge myself to take on this role and just see what 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 happens because it it just sort of wouldn't it just wouldn't let go of me, and um, it really was very um, um, very consuming. And I think you know, as as men, we hyper focus. So for me, I. I hyper focused on all of his, all of his, um, you know, his his issues, his demons, and why he was the way he was, and and um, I just tried to find the love and the and the humanity and the heart in him. Like I just knew that he wasn't just a cliche. I knew that there was something else that motivated him, and that he wasn't quite able to 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 bring to flu fruition and. And manifest within himself because he just wasn't, um, you know, he just wasn't given those tools as a child, and so uh, that's what really got its hooks in me deep when I went down to the prisons and and working with these reformed alcoholics because that was just really sort of more so for me. It it, it never was, you know, it was, it's a, it's a minor player in the film, but but in order to kind of find the humanity in that character, you kind of got to go to a lot of those really dark places and. So it was, it was days where it was really, really uncomfortable. and Because uh, you can't just go down into these lockups in these prisons and, and then and talk to people that are struggling with like real hardcore issues in their lives and without um, being affected emotionally by it. Uh, you know, it doesn't get you very far <laughs> into their lives, you know, without really kind of genuinely engaging. And caring about what they're going through, so it was the first time that I'd ever really been that close to that. Mm. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, so yeah, let's hear from Big Pepper. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let me uh, find you. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for coming out to like Dandelion Dust, and we hope you'll continue to enjoy uh, more films at the festival. Thanks, and have a great night. And uh, the film cynics are on CFAX at 3 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs>